Do you need to create a data structure for the NPCs in your game? Odin Inspector can help with that. Do you need to make it easy for a designer to adjust values without breaking the code? No problem. Do you need to run code at the push of a button? Odin can do that with one extra line of code. Do you have a color scheme for your game? We've got an attribute and an editor for that. If that sounds interesting, let's take a quick look at what Odin Inspector can do for you and your game. Odin Inspector is all about letting you design your game quicker and easier, no matter whether you're a solo hobby developer or working on a large team. Odin Inspector has over 80 attributes that allow you as a Unity programmer to quickly and easily create custom inspectors and custom editors. Grouping in the inspector with attributes like box group, vertical group, and horizontal group can help clean up the visuals and thus the usability of the inspectors. This is particularly useful when a large number of fields need to be set, such as in the creation of data assets. With one easy toggle, you can see the difference in the inspector with Odin on and with Odin off. Tabs are a great tool to further organize inspectors for classes with a large number of fields. They can greatly reduce the overall footprint of the script in the inspector, while at the same time making it more usable. Tabs can be created and added to your inspectors with just one simple attribute. In Unity, it's easy to add a non-mono behavior class to an inspector. As long as the class is serialized, it'll show up and you can edit all of the properties. But mono behaviors, or for that matter, anything that inherits from UnityEngine.Object doesn't show up. All you see is a field that references the object. That is, unless you add the Odin attribute inline editor. This will add a collapsible inline editor for the object. This can save time by not having to find the object in the scene and by being able to edit the properties directly in the referring scripts inspector. Now, Odin is more than just about organizing and making your inspectors look better. Odin can also help to speed up and smooth out the design process. Do you need to test whether a function runs and behaves correctly? Maybe you're working on procedural generation and need to test the code and don't want to keep going in and out of play mode. Or maybe you're working on save and load functionality. With the button attribute, you can call a function with the press of a button in or out of play mode. The button attribute will also work if the function requires arguments or parameters. If you give default values in the function, Odin will grab those and use them in the inspector. Pretty clever, pretty handy, and a great way to speed up development. If your project has a defined color scheme, you can use the built-in color palette editor to define color palettes and quickly implement them with a color palette attribute. Combine this with an onValidate function, or more efficiently, with a built-in onValueChanged attribute, and designers can quickly iterate objects such as UI tags through the defined color scheme. To go one step further and show off more of the flexibility of the Odin Inspector, you can also achieve the same effect with the show in Inspector attribute and using a getter and setter to call the appropriate function. So that's three ways to achieve the same result. Use what works best for you and your workflow. Now we've all been there. We've handed off code to someone else and they've used it in a way that wasn't intended or they forgot to set a required element. Or maybe you're working on your own and you're revisiting scripts you wrote months or years before. Either way, with Odin Spectre attributes, you can easily leave comments and requirements that can help prevent misuse and ensure that code is properly set up. And this can all be done with the required attribute. Setting attributes to ensure the code is used correctly is one big step in the right direction. But Odin can take it even further with a project validator. It's a paid add-on to the Odin Inspector that searches the entire project for potential issues. We'll be devoting a couple of videos to just the project validator, so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for those videos. You may have some fields that are only used under specific conditions. Rather than have them shown or enabled at all times, you can use Odin to control access to those fields. By using show if, hide if, enable if, or disable if, fields can be disabled or even not shown based on the defined conditions. These conditions can come from a simple Boolean value or from more complex functions. Odin is able to evaluate C-sharp expressions and attributes by prefacing them with an at symbol. For example, in the case shown, the code is checking the state of the Boolean as well as whether the game object field is null. If either of these conditions is not met, the field will be disabled. If you want or need to leave a note for your future self or your team's level designer, you can do just that with the info box attribute, which leaves notes right in the inspector. You can also customize the type of message as information, a warning, or as an error. There are other Odin attributes that can be used to limit or constrain the types of objects that can be added to a field, such as scene objects only or asset selector. These attributes allow types or folder locations to be pre-selected. You can also limit the field to children of the object with the attribute child game objects only. Now all of these attributes can help streamline the design process whether you're a solo developer or working on a large team. Odin has nearly 200 user reviews on the asset store with an average rating of five stars. 
If you don't want to take my word for it, then check out what your fellow developers have to say about Odin. As for support, the DevDog Discord is active and is a great place to seek help or ask questions if you're on the fence about purchasing the Odin Inspector. You can find an invite link to the server in the video description below. So there you go, that's a brief introduction to the Odin Inspector. And until next time, happy game designing.